Greetings of the day children. How are you all? Now in this session we are going to learn about lines and angles chapter number 5. As the chapter is of geometry I will advise you, all of you to keep a geometry set with you. Okay students? So should we start? So children, in this lesson, lines and angles, we will discuss introduction part, related angles and pairs of lines. Clear children? Students, now let us revise the basic geometry concepts. Now students, we will revise what you have learned about point, line segment, ray, line and angle in your previous class. I will discuss the properties of each of them. We represent a point by a dot. It does not have length, width or thickness. Understood children? Now second one is line segment. A line segment has two endpoints. It can be measured. Okay, children, understood? You can see that in the figure. Now, the third one is ray. Ray goes endlessly in one direction. Ray has one endpoint and it cannot be measured. Okay, the next one is line. Line can be extended endlessly in both the directions. So, we cannot measure its length. Line has no endpoints and it cannot be measured. And the last one is an angle. An angle is formed when two lines or rays or line segments meet at a common end point. The common point is called the vertex of the angle and the rays are called the arms or sides of the angle. Understood children? I hope you all have understood this. Actually this you have already done in your earlier class. Okay? Before I start the types of angles given in this chapter, I will discuss the types of angles you have learned in your previous class. Yes, you all are aware about acute angle, right angle and obtuse angle. Yes, correct children. An angle whose measure is less than 90 degree is called an acute angle. Right? Then the second one is an angle whose measure is exactly 90 degree is called a right angle. And what is the definition of the obtuse angle? Yes, correct children. An angle whose measure is greater than 90 degree but less than 180 degree is known as an obtuse angle. So children, this you have done in your earlier class. Fine. Students, here I will explain about these other three types of angles. The first one is straight angle. An angle whose measure is equal to 180 degree is called a straight angle. The second one is an angle whose measure is greater than 180 but less than 360 is called a reflex angle. And the last one is an angle whose measure is equal to 360 degree is called a complete angle. Children, this is just for your knowledge, these three types of angles have not been explained in your textbook. But here just 
for your information extra knowledge i have explained this clear students now please pay your attention over here now i am going to explain the types of angles which are explained in this chapter a combination of two angles is called a pair of angles certain pair of angles have some special properties let us study about this special pairs of angles the first one is complementary angles when the sum of measures of two angles is 90 degree the angles are called complementary angles now children in the given figure you can see that angle aoc is equal to 30 degree and angle cob is equal to 60 degree so children if we will add we will get it 90 degree correct that means measure angle aoc plus measure angle cob is equal to 30 degree plus 60 degree is equal to 90 degree that is why angle aoc and angle cob are a pair of complementary angles understood children clear even angle abc and angle xyz are complementary angles as the sum of the measures of their angles is 90 degree 55 degree plus 35 degree gives us 90 degree clear understood so when two angles are complementary each angle is said to be complement of the other angle understood children students now i will explain supplementary angles if the sum of measures of two angles is 180 degree then they are said to be supplementary angles understood children now in the given figure measure angle aoc is equal to 130 degree and measure angle cob is equal to 50 degree now measure angle aoc plus measure angle cob that means 130 degree plus 50 degree is equal to 180 degree so angle aoc and angle cob are a pair of supplementary angles clear children the other example is you can see in the figure angle m and o and angle def are also an example of pair of supplementary angles now look at here angle measure angle m and o is equal to 40 degree and measure angle d e f is equal to 140 degree so 140 plus 40 degree gives us 180 degree so all of you understood children when two angles are supplementary then they are supplement to each other clear children i hope all of you have understood this now i will discuss adjacent angles student please pay your attention here two angles are said to be adjacent angles if there are three conditions they have a common vertex second one they have a common arm and the third one is non common arms are on either side of the common arm now children here in this figure you can see that 
angle A O B and angle B O C are adjacent angles. Now let us understand as per definition. What is the first condition? They have a common vertex. Now children tell me which is a common vertex. That means which is a common point. Yes, you are correct. It is O. Now the second one is they have common arm. Come on, tell me which is the common arm. Yes, ray OB is a common arm. And the last one is non-common arms are on either side of the common arm. Now tell me children, which are non-common arms? Can you? Yes. A ray OA and ray OC are non-common arms and they are not on the same side of the common ray OB. Understood children? Clear? So, they are on the either side of ray OB. Now, students, I hope you have understood up to here. I will now sum up with my first session. Other types of angles we will discuss in our next session. So, children, have a nice time. Stay healthy. And thank you so much.